In this video, we are going to discuss about connective and the relative connective. So before we talk about uh, relative connective, we need to understand how connective work. So what we are going to do, we are going to create a subpath which will start from here and it will end here. So to create a subpath, we need to use move to also we are going to move it to size dot height half okay because we have to move it here if we had to move it here then we would have to use size dot width here and also size dot height by two so then we need to use conic to conic to takes four parameters along with the weight okay we will discuss about weight later first we need to discuss about these four points so y1 and x1 is your control points and the x2 and y2 is your ending point so this is going to be your ending point and the y1 and x1 is going to be your control point which will control the curvature of the conic okay so what we are going to do we are going to pass size dot width here and size dot height by two here so initially we are going to create a parabola so to create a parabola we need to pass one here also we need to specify our control point so for now we are going to keep our control point to the center of the width so it will be somewhere in the center here and the height would be size dot height so it would be somewhere here so size dot width half also size dot height as you can see, we have successfully created a parabola by using connecto method. So to create a hyperbola, we can give it a value which is greater than 1. So for now, we are going to give it a value 2. As you can see, the curve became very steep. So to create a ellipse, we just need to pass value which is less than 1. So for now we are going to pass 0 0.5. Okay, so if I move this uh, x1 point to here, you will see some changes in the curve. You can see it moved little bit here. So this is all about conic 2. If you want to create conic curve in relation with the previous points, in relation with these points, then you can use relative conic 2. So here, if I keep all the values same as the previous one, you will see some weird acts here. So to make everything like the previous curve, we need to make so we need to make some changes here. It should be size dot height should be half should be zero because we, what we were doing we were adding size dot height half with size dot height half so it would become full height. We need to keep it size dot half. So that's why I put zero here. And also to make size dot height full here, we need to pass size dot half. So size dot half size dot height half size dot height half would become size dot height. Okay. So as you can see, it moved to its original position. 
This is all about uh, connective and relative connective. To learn more about custom paint, path and flutter advance, you can subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video.